What's up guys, welcome to your 78th Android tutorial for the new Boston. Again with me Travis. And what we're going to do in this tutorial is we're basically going to set up a wake lock. Now what is a wake lock? Well, let's say we have our activity open and it's running and the person just staring at this activity on their phone for like five seconds. Basically it's going to make our activity back screen dim and then if still no activity is happening it's going to actually lock her phone to save some of the battery power. But for example if we want an activity like this where there's no user interface and we just want them to stare at this for three hours and or until their battery dies you know hypnotize them with something like this we want to make sure that our phone's background won't dim and actually shut off uh, to save that battery power so we're gonna basically set up a wake lock so it won't won't do that and it's pretty simple um, I know I promised you get or told you guys we were gonna do something awesome in this tutorial well I thought we should save the awesomeness for you know later down the road because I'm supposed to be teaching you guys kind of the basics so I thought I should just stick to that but uh, we're gonna add our wake lock to this activity so that was called our graphics class so just open that up and here's a graphics class all we're gonna do is before our on create or before our on super our super method is called right here on create this is where we're gonna set up our wake lock so I don't know if you guys wanna leave a comment uh, just wake lock something like that who, not, who knows um, but that's that's where we're gonna set this up now we do this through the power manager because again the wake lock kinda of saves battery power so uh, that's held within the ba uh, the power manager uh, class where we can you know get get the context from that class uh, so we're gonna say power manager and then we're just gonna call this PM for power manager or something and then we have to import power manager and what we're gonna do is we're gonna cast our power manager here and then we're gonna say get system uh, service and then within this parameter we're gonna get the context um, called power service so I'm gonna say context dot power service now that's basically just getting the power manager set up for us and the only other thing we have to do is set up our wake lock now so let's just say wake lock um, we can establish, um, you know, oh, we can just say wake lock here. And then um, we're going to call this WL for wake lock. And then um, again, we just have to import this. I mean, it's a pretty simple tutorial. Uh, it's not really, you know, it's just something else you guys can use as a resource as well so now what we're going to do is we're going to refer to our power manager that we just set up which was PM and then we're going to say dot new wake lock as you can see it takes flags and a tag um, within the parameters And as you can see over here it kind of shows us how to set up the wake lock this is basically all we're going to do right here is this example for the most part and then also we can acquire and release our wake lock because we want to release it when we aren't when we don't need the wake lock anymore. So let's set that up. And then for our flags, what we're going to say is we're going to refer to again the power manager class. And we're going to say full faith, full wake lock. So that's just going to leave our screen completely um, fully awake the whole time for the most part. And then for a tag, we can just, you know, set this up as whatever. So. Um, there we go. I mean, the tag can be anything you guys want to describe that wake lock as. There we go. Now we have our wake lock set up. Um, again, we need to kind of um, basically start our wake lock when our activity starts. So uh, what we can do again is just something like wl dot acquire to start it. That's what's actually going to start our. Uh, you know our wake lock here and uh, also we can release it so we're just gonna set up our, our release as well so we're just gonna hit um, right click and then we're gonna add the on pause method 
and that's where we're gonna you know release our wake lock so again just go to override methods and on pause right there and then we're just gonna say uh, WL dot release and as of now again it's not refer it doesn't know what this WL is because we established it in this class so we're just gonna copy this here and then uh, set it up above our class so it's kind of referring to the same WL and there we go I mean we're pretty much done um, the only other thing you guys might want to do is set up an on resume method and put this acquire within the on resume method uh, that's just an option you guys can use this will work as well at the moment but if we ever come back to the activity where it resumes you probably want to acquire the wake lock within that on resume method so there we go we're pretty much done with this the only other thing we need to do is we need to add a permission and again we're just going to do it the simple way with this permission tab here in the Android manifest um, so just click that and then we're going to say add permission um, you I'm sorry uses permission when I'm uh, didn't seem right there we're just gonna say uses permission and we're gonna search for wake lock if I can there we go uh, search for wake lock right here and then we can use we can access the power manager and set our wake lock um, otherwise it won't work if we don't use that permission so just save that and uh, we're good to go. We will have a wake lock now. So, hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Um, wasn't super awesome, but it could become beneficial for your application. So, peace, guys.